hardly convenient. The brainless oaf led us right to the Tide Stone. Our queen beneath the tides can reassemble the pieces. As this for you, place is not you will for you. make an acceptable slave. Yes? It is through you that I will have redemption. the academy entrance when I saw those two Naga with you in tow. Make sure that prisoner doesn't awaken, Parjesh. Yes, my mistress. I followed them as closely as I dared. I saw my chance. I would attack the Naga leaders and save you from captivity. Spirit. The time stone belongs to us now! You deal with our guest officer. I shall take and the Tidestone had evaded me. Rather than pursuing her, I set off to rescue you, my champion. Finally found their slave pen. At the entrance to the cave, however, I ran into an old acquaintance. Ferrandis, my most loyal subject. It's been too long. That voice. I'm sorry, you must not recognize me. Is this. Better. I don't think so. Queen Ashara! You... You lead the Naga? Poor deluded Verandis. Don't you remember? I quashed your rebellion 10,000 years ago. Do you remember how powerless you were to stop me? And look at you now. A specter of your former self. Cursed to an eternity of undeath and ineptitude. I'm giving you an opportunity to kneel before me, Princeling. Maybe something can be done about that little curse. To release my people's curse, to redeem myself and secure my legacy, the people of Azuna were and always will be too proud to kneel before your demonic allies, which... We will never kneel before you! <laughs> My wrath is coming. 